Hello and welcome. It is Monday evening, just gone six here. And we're just seeing what's new in the latest um, FC24 content update. It's just gone six, so we will get today's content. Obviously, yesterday we had Hernan Crespo and Bradley Barcola. Um, two very um, two very differently priced SPCs. Barcola obviously was very good value. Crespo slightly less so, but still two decent new cards within the game. Um, Barcola obviously being a dynamic card too. So yeah, let's have a look through and see what's been added in since that video yesterday. We are still 100 XP off Carasquilla. Um, and then onwards to the Ukrainian midfielder, who will be able to get us onto those objectives with four ladder players in them. we got nothing in FC Pro today. We've got Festival Football Daily Play and Daily Play Completionist, which will get us a premium gold players pack. What a excuse me, what a reward that is. But that's what's there for today. Um seasonal we have daily objectives, the normal stuff. And this is the one I was talking about. You need four players from the ladder to get onto that. So that's not too far off, but it's not too close either. Um rival stuff is there. That's as per normal so let's go to moments eight out of eight stars earned so that means there are no more available and then the club will we have a new evolution today right homegrown's got five days left incisive pass master's got 12 supreme defender has 19 champions corner has three champions corner two sorry has three days left Serie A team of seasons, four days left on that. Ten days left on that. Ultimate attack has 11 days. And then we've got Euro attackers. Euro attackers, two. Copper attackers, copper attackers, two. Star performer. So there is nothing new today, evolution-wise. Will there be a 10 coin, a 30 coin pack in store? I really hope so, because they were good yesterday. So hopefully they're good today. Oh, no, they got rid of them. Where have they gone? Why were they not there? What is so wrong with having them in there? All the normal stuff here we've had for a while. So, SPCs, it is. Let's hope. And there is something good there. So those are all the part of glory players in packs at the moment. DePaul and Diaz at the top with Miller, Tau, Oblak, Pedri, uh, Salabar, Saka, all at 96, down to the 91s. Shall I... Um, Zalewski, Schick, oh no, they're 92, so yeah, whole range there. Those are the greats of the game, i.e. the latest version of Icons. So yeah, where are we? SPCs it is. So, we've got the 78 times 3 best of still there. 85 by 5 is the repeated daily one that they've brought in now. Then we've got Mixed League and Premium Mixed League there. Oh, that was me, just my favourites. Okay, Diaz, Gomez, Chesney, Silva, Felipe Anson, Nacho, Martial, Darwin. McKees is new. He's normally had a couple of decent cards. He now has a dynamic path to glory. Left mid, left wing for Venezuela. Very good pace. The shooting, a little less so. A bit low on the attacking positioning in comparison with everything else. Obviously, if you're looking for a chem card to put on him, Dead Eye is still a good option because it would boost that attacking positioning in quite a strong way, but you'd waste that additional stats on the power, shot power element, but you probably won't mind that. The pass is pretty good. The dribbling is very good. He's got three 99 rated stats to start with, along with reactions and, ball, uh, reactions and composure. They're a little bit lower, as we normally see. And then pretty level physical stats. Four passing play stars, which is nice for a winger. A power shot, which is good for a winger. Rapid, quick step and relentless. All good for a winger. It's a decent enough card. I'm not sure about Venezuela's chances of going through the stages um, to get through to like the, the later stages, the other upgrades, but that's what we have now. 
He is in there, and his price is going to be 86, I reckon. 85 with a team of the week or team of the season and a La Liga player. That's pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward for a 93 rated card. That's good. He's still got Hasebi, still got Royce, still got Torre, still got Bonpasta. No surprises there. Right, where are we with the upgrades? Obviously, we saw that the 85 by 5 is still there earlier on. We also have an, one of 84, sorry, one of four, 84 plus rare gold players. You get three of those in the day. Well, that's rubbish. That's, that's really bad. So you're picking an 83 and an 84 rated squad to get a 1 of 4 84 plus pick back. That's really bad value. Yeah, that's... That's wrong. I can understand if this was like an all common and an all an, an all common gold and an all rare gold squad, but not an eighty three and an eighty four. And three no that that must be wrong. That must be that just seems weird. Hmm. The eighty twos are back, which is good. Six more days on them. One of three for an eighty two plus. Two rare golds, and we'll do one of these straight off the bat. I think. Um, do we have any any obvious off league ones? I don't think we do. We may just go with the lowest. Let's just go with the lowest. So you're French. You're not 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 French. Lovely. I normally just go with the lowest Prem or Spanish League ones because obviously those are the highest rated requirements for the League SPC. So it kind of you don't need the lower rated rare gold. Ugh. You don't need the lower rated gold commons for those the repeatable premium league SPCs. So I put them into these, which is useful in saving the higher rated ones for the actual SPC itself. So 82 plus is new, we've refreshed. 84 is wrong and new. And 85 by 5 is there. Oh, we've got these back again. This is good. I missed these before because they give you so much fodder within the, the squad that it's nice. And we've got 38 days on that. That's good. That's good. We like that. Why they keep the bronze and silver when you've already got the premium bronze and silver, I don't know. And then we've got a Path to Glory challenge here. Normal stuff there. Zambrotto, Czech, Crespo, Ferdinand, Drogba, Zanetti, Mateus, Raul, Ronaldo, Abli, Stoichkov, Pirlo, nobody. Cool. So, new challenge SPC, few new upgrades. We're doing 85 by 5 now. Mikisis, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Darwin McKees is the only new player for today. He is a reasonable price. We'll put Hummels in there. What do we need? 85s. Um, we do have some ish. Um, you and you. And the coke I just got. Can we get away with them, the Serbi? Probably not. Let's go and grab somebody else up here. Trent, Cobal and Mead and see what works. There we go. 85 by 5. So we will end the video on opening this up by the looks of it. We don't have a daily login. We only have the daily play stuff. So... Yeah, it's Darwin McKees as an SPC today, which looks like a good SPC. 
A dead eye on him, potentially a hawk if you want to boost their physical. Even a marksman, to be honest, is an option. Um, but dead eye looks the favourite for him. 84 plus player picks, which looks wrong. Which really. Let's just go back to this a minute. Consider you're doing Darwin McKees, which is a guaranteed 93 for an 85 rated squad. And then you go over to here. And you've got a one of four 84 plus player pick. You could get Nick Pope, Koke, Chesney, and I don't know. It, no. Um, uh, I don't know. Tiago. And then you put a whole 84 rated squad and 83 rated squad into it. Some people will say. Fodder's cheap, you take your chances, use the risk of what you get from that one in four pick. But why not do that? Why not just do a few more 82s with the same players, with the same cards? You could do, like, double the amount and they're cheaper cards because you can put lower rated cards and you can just put 75 rated golds in rather than 83 and 84s and 85s into this. I, It does feel like a mistake, but... It could just be EA being EA. Anyway, yeah, Darren McKee set an, an 85 rated squad. Um, and then we've got 84 picks, 82 picks, 85 by 5, and the normal daily upgrades, including the return of the bronze, silver, gold daily ones, which I love. Thank you very much for bringing them back. But now we're going to finish on an 85 by 5. I uh, wish you good luck with your picks, with your packs, and with your play. We've only got a gold out of this. It's Riyad Mahrez. But yeah, other than that, I bid you farewell. Thank you very much for watching. Who is this? Oberdorf. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, clicking, subscribing, commenting, all of that good stuff. And I will speak to you this time tomorrow, all being well and good in the world. And yeah, have a lovely evening and speak to you then. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Bye.